Rape and gender abuse, it happens at college campuses across the country, and Temple knows it's no exception. That's why, for the fourth year in a row, Temple football players are spending the day in April with high heels on. It's a walk a mile in her shoes campaign, an event held to raise awareness against sexual abuse. When we prepare for this event, you know, like this year we did a commercial for it and we sat down with the person running the event. And volunteer and, information. You know, he was just telling us the, statistic, right the, the statistics stage. of, again, you know, how many women are affected by it every right year and, you know, what, what it really means to walk a mile in her shoes and, you know, represent a cause like this. And just told me that anyone can be affected and, you know, it's just incredible to spread awareness for things like this. Although some can personally relate to this experience, others gain appreciation through the actual experience of walking in heels. It's kind of cliche, but it actually does kind of put you in their shoes for a minute. You kind of think like a woman for a little bit, you know, and actually think like how they feel and, you know, what, what stuff they actually go through. So. It definitely hurts. The whole heel to toe thing does not work. I don't know what you girls are talking about, but it's completely not true. I think it's funny watching all these guys. Definitely a few tumbles here and there. My first, my first year doing it, I think I fell twice. The football program helped organize the entire event from beginning to end. Even head coach Matt Rule took to the stage to address the participants. Even though we put on shoes and we, and we make a pledge, as Tom said, it hasn't changed. It might have gotten better, but it's still there. Someone's going to be assaulted somewhere tonight and it should not happen. It makes you feel helpless. But then I see all your faces. With more than 260 students and athletes, this year marked the largest number ever for pre-registered participants on campus. And next year, this group hopes to be back with even more support. From Leah Corus Walk, I'm Courtney Key, Al Sports Update.